Can divers to retrieve the bodies of three men who were allegedly drowned in the Mohale Dam by members of the army. The incident apparently happened in May this year. For more on this, we are now joined on the line by our reporter in Lesotho, Rapelang Khadebe. Rapelang, thank you so much for joining us. Now, why the retrieval um, now? Can you give us an, a bit of a background as to what exactly happened? Thank you, Lulu. The incident goes back in around early May when there was a confrontation between ordinary civilians and a member of the army was shot dead along with another vendor who was operating in, in, in a place close to Masoro Bridge. Now, what happened is about five members were arrested and appeared before court. Three of them were released. Two of them were detained. So what happens is the, the army officers apparently pursued the civilians who were released by the court. They um, disembarked them from the bus that they had been into. They were allegedly tortured and ultimately thrown into Mohali Dam. So this is the case relating to uh, that particular attempted murder, if it should be. And the process to retrieve them started today. Now, uh, Rapelang, why did they not succeed with the initial retrieval um, of, of, of the bodies? Well, due to the altitude, they said today was purely about acclimatizing. They, because of the high altitude, Mohali Dam is sitting just under 3,000 meters above sea level. So they really had to acclimatize. So they would go about 5 meters, have a break for about an hour, go to 10 meters, and they say ultimately tomorrow is the only time that their bodies should have acclimatized and they can go for a deep dive whereby the actual process to try and locate the bodies can actually begin. Now let's speak about uh, the army and uh, the image of the army going forward after this incident. What exactly has been the reaction from the army and um, a government, the government of Lesotho, with regards to um, these uh, killings in, in May that took place? Yes, one would have to go back. You see, one of the reasons why Sadat actually took a very tough stance in actually sending the armed forces or the standby troop to Lusuk, is because a lot of ex criminal acts had gone with impunity in Lesotho. And following the Pomati recommendations, one of the recommendations was that all perpetrators must be arrested. Now, you know, when you are dealing with the army officials, you are dealing with high level security. And uh, I think this is part of the process that as many were be being called into account. This is what could have happened. So this has had a bit of a bad image regarding the army. And we need to be sure as to is this common crime that needs to be attended to. Some were even saying maybe the government is beginning to persecute certain people. Mm. So it is, I think, important to, to clarify the bloodline as to people who have committed atrocities and need